Hi everyone, my name is Owen. I'm going to be the art teacher at the Y this fall. Today I'm asking you to join me in a, an art project. We're going to be doing some salt painting. So the materials that you're going to need for this, a piece of construction paper, some water, some food dye, some glue, salt, and a paintbrush. All right, so to get started, you're gonna have your materials all laid out nice and neatly for you so you know exactly what you need. Um, for this project, you're gonna have your paper down flat and you're gonna take your glue and you're gonna make des any design that you want. So today I'm gonna go with a sun, but it doesn't have to be a sun. It could be a jellyfish, a turtle, literally anything that you want. So I'm gonna make this and you wanna fill in anything that you make. So this is a lot of glue. It is gonna need a day or two to dry. Um, so after you're done, you're gonna wanna put this project somewhere nice and safe to make sure that it doesn't get bumped into or anything while it's drying. All right, so now that I have my design, I'm going to grab the salt next. And you're going to take the salt and you're just going to pour it all over the glue. So once you have enough salt down to cover everything, you're going to dump the salt, the extra salt. So you're going to lift your paper, put the extra salt right in the trash. I'm going to do that off camera. Awesome. So now you have this, okay? So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take some food dye. So I have a couple different options over here. Um, I have a pink, a red, a green, and a blue. So you're gonna take some food dye and you're gonna just do a couple, maybe just one drop. You don't really need that much food dye. One or two if you're feeling it. Um, if you also have liquid watercolors at home. You could do it with this as well. So you want to be extra careful with the food dye. As you can see already, I stained my fingers. So you just want to, if you're not feeling comfortable with it, have someone help you. Great. So now that I have my colors, I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to dip into the color that I made, mix it up a little bit. So this one actually turned out to be a purple. So with my brush, once I have the color on it, I'm just gonna go like this. And the salt is gonna soak up the color. So see how that's, if you can't really see it, it's probably really light. So this is where you add more dye. So I'm going to add another drop. Mix that in. So your goal is to kind of make it like a tie dye almost. So you're going to just put the color in random places. I want a little bit more color, so I'm gonna add just one more drop. There we go, that's better. So with the less water that you have and the more food dye that you put in, the stronger the color is going to be. Um, I want to be done with this color for right now, so I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to actually rinse it off in some extra water over here to make sure that I'm not mixing any colors or anything like that. 
And since I know that this, when I did it the first time, it's a little light, I'm gonna add a couple more drops. Little light, add another. And so forth. You're just gonna go on with this process until you have the whole thing that you created covered with colors. So I think I'm going to be done with this for now. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to see how it looks later. Um, probably leave this outside for about two days. Like I said, it's a lot of glue and it's really wet. So it's going to need time to dry. But as you can see, it's this cool little tie-dye sun. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little project. If you'd like to make more art with me, I would love for you to come and join me in my art classes. Classes are gonna be starting in the beginning of November. If you'd like to look at our class list, just go to www.nmymca.org and there's a full description of every class there. Hope to see you soon, thanks. We can't forget our kids during art week. Kids Walk is back. Kids, grab your parents. They need to pay attention to this part. Parents, go to the City Arts Nashville Facebook page or the City Arts Nashville website, cityartsnashville.org, and look for clues on how you can help your artists find fun mini art kits. Take a picture of you and your mini art kit and email it to City Arts Nashville. Bonus points if you take a picture of what you created from the kit. Oh, and uh, one more request. We know that your young artist has been busy creating during this crazy time. Send in photos or videos of your kids and their art. All that info can be found on Facebook and the website too. Check back. All submissions will be aired on Access Nashua Community Television. Have fun with this kids and keep creating. The world needs your art.